welcome to another episode of DIY Hand Health with Dummies. Today we are going to talk about Dolphin Emulator. So basically emulation for Wii and GameCube. So we are going to start with installing the Dolphin MMJ build. So I'm pretty sure that you may find a newer version of MMJ build when you're watching this and I think it is okay, it would be applicable. If you were playing Wii, the first thing I would do is to disable the GameCube controller or otherwise um, some kind of error may occur and you may not be able to use your Wii controller. So I haven't changed anything at this time of point so you can see uh, these boxes are checked and let's leave it here and do an other setup for our Wii gameplay first. After disabling your GameCube controller, you want to go to the folder where you store your ROM files and then set it as your directory so that your Dolphin emulator can read your files and you should see a screen like this after loading. Before getting into the game, we want to set up our Wii controller. First of all, uh, bind the keys to it. For most of the time, I prefer to set the extension to Nunchuck because that is the most used extension for Wii games. And for others, key, I just, you know, like bind it to the key that I prefer. If you don't have any preference, you can simply follow what I'm doing here. But if you do have any preference, you can do whatever you want. There are some flaws in this emulator here and there. Um, the most uh, hindering problem is uh, the to bind those uh, tilting and swing motion, those parts are the most difficult and somehow it doesn't allow you to play perfectly for Zelda's Skyward Sword. So that is one of the problem, but otherwise this is a very good emulator. Since we have finally finished key binding, let's get into a game.
Um, so now let's look at some optimization that we can do for this emulator. You will want to check the override emulation CPU clock speed and that will bring a difference. If you want to remove all the keys on the screen, you can go to your right hand corner and go to toggle control, then uncheck all the boxes and click OK. Because I'm not binding home to any key, I would prefer having home on my screen right in the middle. And this is it for Wii emulation. And let's move on to some GameCube emulation. Before starting our GameCube game, let's bind our keys to our controller first. And remember to enable your controller before playing because if you have been following, you are probably already disable your GameCube controller because you have to play for your Wii games. The key binding for GameCube controller is pretty straightforward and simple so um, you can just follow what I'm doing or you can bind the keys like whatever you want it. Now let's get into the game. Just like what we have done for Wii emulation, if you don't like those keys on the screen, you can simply go to the toggle controls and uncheck all the boxes so that they will disappear. So that is it, this is pretty much what I want to talk about in this video. Remember to save your games from the right hand side and thank you for watching and I will talk about the other emulations and remote plate in my future videos.